Let me ask you a question. What do you fear? Don't answer that. Just keep it in the back of your mind. One of the many perks of being a human being is being allowed to express yourself in many ways. The main thing that drives us, however, is emotions. They are the one way for a person to express themselves and differ from other people. One person can be happy all the time, sad, angry, and even depressed. That's how we are allowed to differentiate from one another. However, I believe that we all can relate to one frivolous emotion, and that is fear. I don't think I need to go over what fear is, unless you want to go scientific with it, which I will not go over. What I do want to go over, however, is what fear can do to a certain degree. It's such a complex emotion, and it's hard to pinpoint an exact reason why we feel it. Now, you can say that with the other emotions because they are complicated in their own right and different ways to bring it. Happiness, for example, while everyone will not get joy for one thing, a lot of people will. With fear, however, it's hard to say what is exactly the main reason the, is the cause for such emotion, but, however, I do think the best example of people getting this feeling and the strong use of it is in the media realm. Movies, video games, music, books, and hell, even art. All of these can be expressed in many, many ways. I want to go over how filmmakers, artists, authors, etc. try to make the consumer worried. I'm only going to go over the first three because I know a lot about them. Sorry, artists, you'll get your moment. But without further ado, let's get it going. Lucas. The first thing I want to go over is music. It's a pretty easy but hard thing to go over because when I go over movies and video games, music and audio play a huge part in both parties, but I'll try to have music in its own place. Out of the three we're going to be talking about today, I do think music is the strongest when it comes to bringing fear. However, it's also one of the hardest. One of the best examples I can think of is ambient music. By itself, the most that are meant to bring chills down your spine work greatly. Especially when you wear headphones, it's not a typical walk in the park. But when it comes to songs with lyrics or whatever, it's kind of hard to come by. Unless you slow down the Spongebob theme like a by 800, 800%. Oh, now that is horror. Do not search it up. What I think it boils down to, however, is not necessarily the songs itself. It's more so experiencing a song for the first time. When you are scrolling through songs, you tend to find one you've never heard before. So you click on it and you just have that sheer anxiety you get listening to the song and wonder if it's going to be worth it. But anyway, let's get to the meat of this video. And this blissfully moves into movies, baby. This is where my nerd self comes into play. Now, every single movie has a shot and a film technique. Visually, these shots aren't supposed to straight up tell you what's happening, but it gives you a good idea what is going on. The drama, the dialogue, and of course the story is what fills in those shots. Now, you might be saying, how does that tie into fear exactly? Well, whatever is filled in those shots, the emotions and whatnot is also what gets filled. To get into this rich cake, the first type is horror movies because fear is the goal for those movies. They are no bright colors in horror movies. Everything is so dim, so chilling. It's supposed to tackle on what, what you fear, mostly. I say that because there are two types of horror, genuine and thrillers. Genuine horror, for the most part, tries to tackle you in a very uncomfortable spot and or try to get to your phobias. For one example of a movie, Annabelle. 
if you have a fear of being watched or stalked and whatnot, I don't think this movie is for you. Throughout the movie, you feel like that this doll is just watching you, whether it's on screen or not. In a thriller, say like Saw or even Final Destination, you feel scared because you don't know if these people are going to survive these awkwardly staged situations. Like, I get it, that's part of the plot, but how do these happen? I'm talking to Final Destination in particular. We can go far and beyond with movies besides horror films. It can be in literally anything. There's too many examples, but I'm going to give the best one and the most recent. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. You guys are probably tired of seeing it everywhere, but I don't care. It deserves its price. And pretty much everyone and their grandma has seen the movie, so... <laughs> I mainly want to talk about the main quote-unquote villain, no spoilers though. It's his scenes that feel so chilling, and the way that he talks and such has such a strange feeling to it. It's one of those few characters that can just make you feel fear, and of course the scenes that follow too, and you don't know what he's gonna do and whatnot. There's a lot to go over, but for the most part, movies can be expressed with this vulnerable emotion, and some of the best movies can make great use out of it. But, it can be expressed in one more way, interacting with it, aka video games. I'm gonna be quick with video games, not because I don't have anything to say about it, it's just, well, video games is in its own league because you basically do everything. You play it, you watch it, you listen, anything really, it's the whole idea of interactive stuff. So. It's hard to pinpoint, again, the idea of fear. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some genuine good horror games like Outlast, Resident Evil, Left 4 Dead, even stuff like Amori and all that good stuff. However, I do feel like the most fear that you can get in a game is when you are in intense situations. One good example is boss fights. Now, I could be really specific like Elden Ring and other stuff, but I'm gonna just level up the main idea don't you just feel like during this fight you feel like that you're gonna lose so you do everything that you can to dodge this boss's abilities or whatever it does and use everything that you got and it can turn into fear because maybe you might lose and you have to do it over again and it doesn't even have to be boss fights another example is when you're playing with friends or something like that like mario kart 8 I know that's a really bad example, but just hear me out. Like, you're in first place, you're about to reach the finish line, but you're, that fucking asshole decides, hey, let me let me just equip a blue shell, and the, that blue shell is coming for you. So you're like, oh god, oh god, reach the finish line, please, and oh no, you got blue shell. And now you're in, like, eighth place or something. Now, you see, there are a lot of ideas, uh, or more so just examples of fear in video games and that ladies and gentlemen is the power of fear at least in the media realm honestly to wrap everything up fear is such a strong emotion and while it's not everybody's favorite emotion it is a really good thing to see because there are many types of fear and video games music and movies do pretty much a good job expressing all those types of fears. So anyways guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And maybe I can actually do the emotion itself. Or I could do the phobias. Who knows. But anyways, I will see you all later. And just remember, there is always someone under your bed.